Yo, what's in that for daddy? Hey, that's my dad! <laughs> hey there! Welcome to Afro Daddy. So here's the deal. Uh, it's the end of the year, which means that it is time for the end of the year school concerts. And because I have two boys, we get to go to two concerts. So first we're gonna watch Eli being the innkeeper. He's gonna tell um, Mary and Joseph that there's no room in the inn. And then tomorrow night, we're gonna get to watch Liam be a little drummer boy. Because just having a four and five year old is the cutest thing in the world. We're supposed to be there in 10 minutes and I'm waiting for my wife to come out of the house. To be fair, she does organize almost everything, so maybe she's doing some last minute planning. Actually, while we're waiting, I can probably tell you the point of this particular video. It isn't just to show you how cute and amazing my boys are, but also to tell you about some of the highlights that I've had of 2019 on Afro Daddy. Oh wait, she's almost ready to go. Are you ready to go? She's so busy. Yeah, I'm the kind of dad who uh, lets his wife drive. Because you love driving, don't you? Oh yeah, hey, you're favorite. Just your favorite thing to do. I have to drive all the time and it's the worst. We're yeah. gonna be those parents with that giant camera. I was about to say, <laughs> we're gonna be those, those extra parents. parents with the camera with the, at least I didn't bring my lights. Okay, while we're on our way there, what has been your Afro Daddy highlight for 2019? I haven't asked you this yet. Just, what's the first thing you think of in 2019 when it comes to Africa? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Probably the podcast on adoption with Tola and Danny. Ooh, that's that good. good. Especially when you're adopting mm. a black and colored child, you there is a, a life changing Thing that you are doing so you have to think about schooling you got to think about where you're going for picnics or brides whose house are you going to stay with um what church are you going what hockey club are you going to running club all those kind of things and we know as Twilla said in cape town it is specifically hard i'll put a link also to that I was in it since you kicked me out of all the last bugs <laughs> i did not okay tell the people tell the people the truth Do you, they don't think they want they're not ready for the they're truth. not ready they can't handle the truth the truth is every time I have a guest on. I say, hey, Julie, do you want to join us for this oh, conversation? Kylie, but please I don't. I'm like... <laughs> you know, I say, Julie, can you please... Do you, would you like to join us for this conversation? You don't have to if you don't want to, really. It's not a problem if you don't want to. If, it's fine if you really don't want to. This father-to-father -father conversation this that father... I feel so relevant to insert myself in. Yes, this conversation about fatherhood by fathers. Would you like to be part of it? And she says no every time. I and, know. You know. That's not on me. That's on you. I, I like I like your traveling vlogs. Because it gives me little insights into what you're up to. <laughs> ah, you get to spy on me. Exactly. Are you excited for tonight? I am trying to calm my nerves and excitement. Because um, you loved, you loved nativity plays I when you were a kid. I love Christmas. I love a good nativity play. And our child is the role of the innkeeper. And I was the innkeeper's wife, which I think is a role they just added. Um, <laughs> it's like tree number two, exactly. basically. <laughs> but we sang the exact same innkeeper song, and now we're singing it like, you know, 28 years apart. Um, and when he started, when he came home and told me the song, I could sing it straight away. All the words came right. back. Oof. Are so you going I'm, to cry? I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for day two of end of year nativity plays. Yesterday was Eli, today is Liam. Um, Julie and I are just doing the last packing up for picnic stuff. But that means we can continue our discussion about highlights for Aphrodite for 2019. Yesterday, Julie mentioned the podcast was one of her highlights. Definitely, Ask Aphrodite has grown in a really big way, which I've been really proud of. Um, it's sounding better, it's looking better, and we're getting some really cool guests on as well. So, of course, the link for Ask Aphrodite, which is the podcast where we answer questions about life, the universe, and parenting. I'll put the link in the description below. Expect big things from Ask Aphrodite in 2020. Personal family highlight. We've got Daisy this year. Hi, Daisy. Daisy, come. Come here, Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Come here, Daisy Dukes. Right, so today I'm driving because... We live in a fair marriage, don't we, Julie? Uh-huh. <laughs> that wasn't sarcastic at all. Uh, I'll just zoom in and show you an astral. What? 
I don't know how to zoom in. <laughs> so the other big piece of content, of course, for the year were all the videos, like these. Hey there, welcome to Afro Daddy. 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 Okay, I've been in San Francisco for four days now, and I still really love the city. Hey there, welcome to Afro Daddy. Okay, voice say hi. Hi. Hey there, welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey there, welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey there, welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey guys, welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey, welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Afro Daddy. Hey, welcome to Afro Daddy. Welcome to Afro Daddy. <sighs> hey, welcome to Afro Daddy. It's time for our second version of the Nativity play. Why don't they cut it up into two parts? So at least, like, you know, we're seeing the sequel today as opposed to the exact same play twice after the show i think i'll tell you about my biggest highlights for 2019 so you're gonna have to hang around for that <laughs> okay so now that we're done with all of the end of your concert shenanigans i can finally tell you about what my ultimate highlight was for 2019 actually it's two highlights and the funny thing about it is that it happened in real life like, Aphrodite is entirely online, but these highlights happened IRL. The first highlight happened at the beginning of the year. I was leaving a beer festival and a guy stopped me and said, hey, you're Aphrodite. And I was like, awkwardly, as I always am. Uh, yeah, I am. And he said, I, I love your content. I love your website. I I've just become a single dad and it's been really scary. But what you have to say and what you do really helps me feel a little bit less alone and a little bit less scared. That's what I've been trying to do, right? Like, I've been trying to encourage dads of all types and to try and make them feel like the scary thing of fatherhood is a little bit easier and a little bit less scary if we're doing it together. So to have someone randomly come up to me and tell me that I've done that for him was huge. It was such a big deal for me. I was very, very excited about that for a very long time. And then the second highlight is very similar. I was at a coffee festival. Wait, the first one's a beer festival and the second one was a coffee festival. Do I go to too many beverage festivals? Anyway, the second one was at a coffee festival. Again, I was walking around and a person came up to me randomly and said, hey, you're Afro Daddy. And I said, yes, I, you know, do you watch the stuff? And he said, yes, uh, my wife and I have recently gone through the adoption process. And again, it was, pretty scary and I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but your content and your conversations really helped me and I really appreciate what you do. Now, I'm really hoping that those two guys are watching this video. If you are, I want you to know that you coming up and telling me all those things made me feel really good and gave me a lot more energy to like keep on doing what I was doing because I felt like, oh, okay, it's making sense. And honestly, if all the stuff I did in Aphrodite for 2019 affected just those two dads, in that way, I feel like that's mission accomplished. So thinking about these highlights from 2019 have got me thinking about what I should be doing next, like how I should act going forward. And I have two thoughts. The first one is I need to be telling other content creators who I like, whose stuff I enjoy, whose stuff I consume, that I like their stuff and that they're doing a good job because I know how good it feels when people do that for me. So I think we should all be doing that for others. If there are other bloggers that you enjoy, whether it's a mommy blogger or a daddy blogger or anything, any kind of content creator, anyone who's making something that you enjoy, especially for free, maybe think about sending them an email to say thanks. So the second idea I have, I'm not entirely sure about, and I actually need your input to help me decide if I should do it or not, because I really do appreciate the dads who engage with all the Aphrodite content. Look, the reality is the vast majority of my audience are actually women. According to Facebook and Google, about 84 to 85% of people who engage in my content are moms and wives and daughters and women in general. And I appreciate all of them, but this is a platform that needs to be encouraging dads to engage. So what I wanna do is to make a dad appreciation board. Basically, any father who comments or engages with the content in some way, shape or form gets onto the board because there aren't a lot of them and I want to show them that I appreciate them in particular. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate all of the women who are always engaging on my platforms. I appreciate every single one of you and Aphrodite could not be what it is without you. 
But if the mission of Aphrodite is to encourage engaged fatherhood, then we should show those fathers who are engaging that we appreciate them. So in the comments below or in the poll, if you're watching this on Facebook, let me know if you feel like this is a good idea. Like the point of this is to get dads to go, hey, I want to comment on that question. I want to engage with that issue. I want to be part of the conversation that could make fatherhood better in this country. So yeah, I would love to know what you think about that. And also I'd love to know what your highlight for 2019 was. Um, either your own personal highlight, like what was good about 2019 for you, and also more selfishly, if there was an Aphrodite highlight of 2019. I mean, we did a lot of stuff, like a lot happened in this year and I'm very proud of all of it. I feel like it's been a good foundation to push Aphrodite even further. So look out for even bigger and better things next year. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video and for getting all the way to the end. But hey, for 2019 from Aphrodite, cheers for now. Yo, we're King Aphrodite. Hey, that's my dad. <laughs>